So here's a neat little trick I want to show you folks that may or may not have issues with bridling your horse. You know, not every horse is extremely happy to see a bit. Um, this little trick, it, it really works. So um, I would suggest start off with a rope halter. Doesn't have to be nothing special, just regular rope halter will do. And um, as you can tell, I still have her tied up, obviously. And uh, oh, what a good girl! What a good girl! What you'll do is, of course, you're gonna try to get control of the head and uh, place the bit in the mouth. You know, some horses you gotta play with the side of their um, their mouth where the uh, where there are no teeth. What a good girl! Come on, put your head down. Head down, good girl. Oops. It came out on the other side. <laughs> what are we doing today? There we go. Good girl. All right. So now your bridle is on. Obviously, you still have your halter on. If you want to tag it along, by all means. I prefer not to. Ooh, trying to get through the spider web here. So here's what I do. Um, I take the rope halter off. And uh, so now it's undone. You pull it forward like this and underneath, kind of like this. And then what you're gonna try to do is have your horse take the halter in its mouth. Now we are going to take it behind the bit and underneath and out. And guess what? Ta-da! You just haltered your, I mean, you just bridled your horse, pain-free. Mm. That's what I've been doing uh, with Zena for quite some time now. We've practiced this for, I wanna say about two weeks, maybe. Oh, and would you look at that? All backwards. 